everybody. Welcome to system test number eight, series four. Let's go ahead and get started. Coming up here for the first notification appliance, we have a Wheelock EHEL1 behind the 2903-9001 light plate. You haven't seen this horn in a while, so I figure I'd put it up for this system test. And up here for the second notification appliance, we have a Wheelock Exceeder. The EHEL1 is going to be going to march time by the panel, and the device is on two-hour operation. And the Exceeder is just on its usual Code 3 horn. Down here for the first conventional pull station, we have an ADT BG10L. And coming right here underneath the stopper, we have uh, the Simplex 4251-20. Attention in the building, attention in the building. We will be conducting the, our system test of the life and safety system. Please disregard all signals until further notice. This is only a test. Thank you. Okay, and the voice evac is on, just on a slow whoop without the voice message this time. All right, we are now going to start by activating the SD505 test switch. Here we go. Three, two, one. And before we activate the first conventional pull station, since the key switch is on the same monitor module circuit, we have to reset the system first. And by the way, I forgot to show you all my new ACM48A and, and how it works. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how it works. Okay, now we can start again by activating the ADT BG10L in three, two, one. Now you can hear me better, but you see on the ACM48A where the LED beside the E70 strobe remains lit because I have the strobe set as non-silenceable. Well, it still shows that the initiating device is still activated. See, this is a, for zone six and this is the right conventional pull station itself. SPSR strobe also remains lit because it's also non-silenceable. So yeah, that's basically how my ACM48A works. Okay, now we can go over here and re-alarm again with the Simplex 4251-20. Now the LED for the second conventional pull station remains lit since we have already activated it. And to shut the LEDs off, all we have to do is we have to press System Reset. And by the way, here's a quick lamp test. See, that's how you do a lamp test. And this light comes on whenever the panel goes into alarm or if it's in trouble. 
and this green light shows that the ACM is act is working properly. All right, now we move on to the detectors, and first up, we will activate the SK Photo Classic using my magnet. There we go. In three, two, one. Okay, now we will reactivate again with the heat detector. devices that are in alarm right now. And so, to reset the detectors, we're just going to reset the system. Now we will activate the supervisory today by just activating the duct detector T-switch. Here we go. Three, two, one. Now we're just going to reset the system. And before we end the video, I'm going to do everybody's favorite. I'm going to do hit the drill button. And the, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, and to end our drill, we're just going to reset the system. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? We have finished conducting the system test of the life and safety system. Please obey all signals from this point forward. Thank you, and I hope you all have a nice day. Okay, everybody. Well, this is going to conclude system test number eight, series four. I hope you enjoyed it. This system test was requested by Siphon R Alarm, so special shout out to him. And if you have not seen my agent release system test video, I recommend that you go and check it out. I will have a link to that in the description as well. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see y'all in the next video.